Hey, Jamie, it's Neandra, and we met each other uh, last Friday in that WBC Cafecito event, and it was very nice meeting you. Um, honestly, I've been thinking about your business a lot, so I decided to shoot this quick screencast video for you to show you kind of uh, some tips on how you can improve your online presence. We're also going to be comparing your website versus your main competitor, and I'm just going to give you some pointers on what you can improve on. So there are three main things I wanted to talk about with you today. The first one is what we call the Google Map Pack. The second is your website content, and third are backlinks. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can potentially have 75 new clients every month and save over $3,500 on your marketing efforts. So I am just I'm just big on giving massive value. So I really hope this helps you and that you learn something new today. So let's get to it. So when a customer is searching for a service, they usually Google it. And this is kind of how SEO works really is when people are searching for example, windows cover window coverings in San Antonio. This is what we call a search result page. So this section right here with the map right, he right here is what we call the Google map pack. And to the left of that are Google business profiles or what we call GBP for short. So you do want to have a GBP and you want to optimize your GBP so that you land on these top three spots of this map pack because as you can tell, Google only boosts the top three businesses in the area for this search term. So this is where most of the traffic sales and leads go to. So I'm going to show you how you can optimize your GBP. So I went ahead and clicked more places. And this is kind of how what you will see if you do that. I tried looking for you, but I couldn't find you. So for the purposes of this video, we're just going to use your main competitor. Now, these top top spot right here is a sponsored result, meaning that Bloom and Blinds and the Shade Store had to pay to be in this position. So we're not going to talk about that in today's video because I don't want you to pay for ads. I only want you to focus on organic search because that's where the money's at. So Windows Fashion Texas is your first competitor. And basically to optimize your GBP, you want to focus on three things. The first one is you want to have at least 100 photos on your GBP. Um, window fashion Texas actually has a thousand photos, so they definitely are ahead of the game, but you want at least a hundred photos, not just for Google, but it's also for your potential clients, right? You want to show the quality of work and the type of services you offer. And that's going to be a great way for customers to see if they want to work with you. So definitely add as much photos as you can. The second thing I wanted to mention are reviews. So you do want to add reviews on a consistent basis. If you have reviews on outside sources like Yelp or Facebook, definitely import that in your GBP as well. And that's going to help your rankings. The third thing I wanted to mention here is what we call a citation. A citation is just basically your business name, address, and phone number as it appears on your GBP. And you want to take that information and um, apply it to famous citation sites like BBB, Yelp. There's other citation sites out there that you also want to add your business to. And that's going to help your, your rankings because it is a big credibility factor for, for Google to find citations across the internet. So think about it as like a popularity contest. You do want to have more citations than your main competitor. And the more citations you have, the more Google will recommend your business to your potential customers. Um, so I hope that made sense. Now that you know a little bit about how this map pack works, the section below that is what we call organic search rankings. And this is where 70% of your business comes from. So this is actually a huge chunk of your business. And you can appear on this top spot by optimizing your website. So I'm going to give you some tips right now on how to do that. So this is your website. And first of all, I do love your logo. It's very clean and chic. And I just love the color overall. I just love neutral. So great job on that. The first critique I have for you is your website content. So basically words on your website is what we call webs website content. And you want to have 1500 to 2000 words of content. I know that sounds like a lot, but there is a reason behind that. So within that word count, you want to include as much buyer intent keywords. And what is a buyer intent keyword? Well, basically, when we started this video, I searched up window coverings in San Antonio. This is a buyer intent keyword, right? Basically, what your potential customers are 
are looking for on Google when they're looking for your business. So there's many ways to, to say window coverings and it can also depend on the services you offer. You can even say window coverings interior, uh, residential San Antonio, Texas. That's also a buyer intent keyword. Basically, you want to find all those buyer intent keywords related to your services and formulate your own content behind that to target them and add that to your website. And that's going to make your website a lot more relevant for that search term and start ranking for that search term as well. Right. So I hope that made sense. Again, you want to have 1500 to 2000 words of content on your website and include as much buyer intent keywords. And that's going to help your rankings. So the next thing I wanted to show you is what's happening behind the scenes. So I actually have my website crawler program pulled up and I'm going to compare what's happening on the back end of your website and compare that to your main competitor. So this is what's happening on the back end for you. As you can see, you're using four of those buyer intent keywords we talked about. So there's definitely a lot of work to do because you're not popping up for the search term window coverings in San Antonio, which is probably very important to your services because a lot of people are probably searching for that when they're looking for you, right? So definitely there's definitely work for, uh, to do on that end. And the second thing that I wanted to mention here is what we call a backlink. So a backlink is just basically a link from a separate website that links back to your website. And it is a popularity contest as well. You want to have more backlinks than your main competitors because a, it is a huge credibility factor for Google. The more backlinks you have, the more they see these websites vouching for your business. And that's why it's important to, to have these strong websites linking back to your website. So let's take a look at your main competitor. So as you can tell, Made in the Shade essay, um, they are doing a lot, right? They are targeting 1,800 of those keywords or 1,800 keywords that are buyer intent versus you're targeting four. So they're basically maximizing all those search terms that people are searching for on Google when they're looking for your service. And you want to know all these buyer intent keywords they're using and also formulate your own content and add that to your website. And that's going to help you um, rank higher on that organic search. And in terms of backlinks, they have 850 versus you have three, right? So when you look at it in Google's eyes, they see 850 websites vouching for Made in the Shade SA versus they only see three websites vouching for Shade by Jamie, right? And that's why they're going to start pushing this website a lot more because um, they are using all of those relevant search terms and they have other websites vouching for their business, right? And that's kind of why they're ranking first on Google. So I really hope this made sense to you and I explained it um, <laughs> and I explained it uh, clearly. But of course, you can always shoot me a message and I'll answer any questions that you have. But let's take a look up, uh, on how this really applies to your business because in reality, you just want a thriving business, right? Where you have a solid clientele and that you have leads every every month going into your business. So this is how we can do that. Basically, if you implement the things that we learned that you learned today, which is work on your content, work on your organic search, work on your GBP, and let's just say Shade by Jamie is ranking first on Google, right? Well, this is the amount of traffic that's going to be coming into your website because this is what's happening to your main competitor. They have over 1,500 people clicking on your website, on their website. And of course, I understand not everyone who clicks on a website will become a client. So let's just say 10% of that website traffic are leads or buyer intent leads, right? That's 150 people interested in knowing more about your service. So they send you an inquiry or they call you to ask for your service. Of course, not every inquiry will become a client. So let's just say half of those inquiries become clients. So that's 75 new clients to your door every month just from positioning yourself at the first of that ranking, right? And this is the power of organic search, really. And this is what's happening to Made in the Shade SA because they didn't pay a single dime or penny to be ranking on this first spot. They just implemented SEO correctly. They worked on their website. They worked on their content and everything that we talked about today. 
And basically that is how SEO works, right? It is a foundation for your business and that's what we want, right? Because in terms of paying for Google ads, it is very bad for sustainability in the long term because once you stop paying for these ads, you're going to see a significant decrease in your leads because the ads is what's popping you up on the top of the search term, just like bloom and blinds, right? So they're just constantly paying for ads. Whereas Made in the Shade SA, they don't even pay for ads to be to be found on the first spot of Google and they're bringing in around 75 new clients per month from this positioning, right? So this is the power of organic search. And just wanted to give you that value because um, honestly, it breaks my heart when I hear people uh, or businesses pay for ads because most of the time, these people don't understand how to do it, <laughs> especially people on Fiverr. I've definitely heard a lot of bad rap on Fiverr. And like I said, it's not a sustainable thing for your business because once you pay, once you stop paying for these ads, you're not foundable on Google anymore. So definitely invest in something that's more long term. That's going to help your business uh, sustainability. Right. So. Made in the Shade SA also saves around $3,500 on marketing efforts. And of course, that's also possible for your business if you're ranking first, right? This value here that reads 3.5K under this traffic value actually shows you how much they're saving every month just from ranking organically. And they're saving an extra 3,500, right? So that's that's pretty much the power for organic search. And I really hope this made sense to you. Of course, if you have any questions, then feel free to reach out. Um, but this is what I do for a living. And I'm quite passionate about this because as I've mentioned, it just breaks my heart that businesses spend their hard earned money on ads without understanding what it does for their business. And so I, I'm just massive on just teaching and l letting you know that organic search is where the money's at really. So um, I really hope this made sense. Let me know if I can help you. Would love to talk more about your business uh, sometime this week. So just shoot me a text and thank you so much, Jamie, for watching this video.